Well, a group of horse lovers is reaching out to lawmakers to support a new bill to protect horses from a practice known as soaring. The bill, H.R. 1847, would close loopholes in legislation written almost 50 years ago. Congressman Morgan Griffith is one of the co-authors. WSLS 10's Arisha Jones talked to him about the proposed bill. For many horses, this is how their normal strides should look running and walking without pain. That's why an important bill before Congress wants to stop the training practice of soaring of Tennessee walking horses and similar breeds. Make that horse's ankles sore so they pick their feet up more. And uh, obviously that's cruel to the animals. It's, it's unkind, it's mean, it hurts them. Congressman Morgan Griffith toured Horizon Equestrian Center to look at their horses and operations. He's co-sponsoring a bill to tighten the rules on how horses are trained. A previous 1970s law, Griffith says, has many flaws. Inspectors can't go everywhere they need to go to make sure that they're not playing tricks like bringing a horse that looks very similar up to be inspected. They see that there's no soaring, then they go back to the barn and they switch out uh, another horse. Two of the nine horses in this stable were part of the horrible training techniques, including Grace, who came here to Horizon Equestrian Center earlier this year. During competition, soaring makes their high step bigger and fancier, but Deborah Ring wants the law to change. They cannot do the soaring, the, the shoes, the chains. You know, they have to have just the natural gait like what we saw over there. Ring is the owner of Chance's Awesome Gal, who once was a victim of soaring. She was in so much pain, it was difficult to manage. It took me like four months on the ground just to be able to, before I could even get on her, just because she was so afraid. Griffith says he's hoping to get more sponsors for the bill. He wants more monitoring of horses directly before they perform in the ring. In Dublin, Arisha Jones, WSLS 10.